joined today by senior midfielder Annie Steinlogge. Annie, it's Thanksgiving. You guys are getting set to practice, but what are you thankful for today? Um, I'm definitely thankful to be here. Um, excited to be in the Elite Eight, one of the eight teams in the country practicing. I think as a team, collectively, we're all thankful for that, so it's fun to be together. Transferred here from Michigan State. Uh, your first three years of college soccer, you didn't get a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. What's this experience been like with this team playing in the NCAA tournament for you? It's been amazing. I mean, you know, like you said, it's my first time, so it's been a ton of fun and to be able to get a number one seed and come into it um, in that position has been pretty fun. But um, just the, the season as a whole leading up to it, too, you know, it's been a lot of fun. And I think that we've been taking it one game at a time, so that helps. Play Michigan tomorrow in the quarterfinals, a team that your teammates have never seen before, but you're quite familiar from your days at Michigan State. What do you uh, have? Have you been telling them about Michigan, and what are the keys to victory tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, I think they're a team that's always evolving. So you know, they're they're going to be a different team this year than I've seen, but I am familiar with them. So um, they're a physical team, and they've got some pace up front, and they're definitely um, good at defending as a whole. So I think those are some things we can focus on, and you know, we can, we have a few other things to continue to focus on as we go into practice today. Uh, after the disappointment of giving up four goals in the ACC semifinals to Virginia Tech, you guys have had three straight shutouts here in the NCAA tournament. What adjustments did you make to try to correct some of the errors that you saw in Kerry? You know, I think that game, we just we didn't play sharp enough, and there, you know, we weren't together, and that, I think that's where we've had a lot of our success this season. So uh, we kind of regrouped and came back together and decided, you know, we needed to play as a whole and just sharpen up. It was a bad game, so um, we've been focusing on that. And I think definitely defending as a group, um, pressuring up when to step together and when to drop, that, that's been that's worked for us. Finally, uh, no matter the result tomorrow, will be your final game at Clockner. You guys have played in front of some big crowds. Uh, what would you say uh, would it mean to you to be able to play one final game in front of a big crowd uh, that gets behind you at Clockner? I mean, it means everything. Like you said, the crowds have been amazing this year, and I think, you know, it's a holiday break, but I still have confidence that there'll be a lot of people there, and um, it would be, you know, I want to get the win not only for our team and for everybody, but especially for the crowd. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you.